Patriots, get ready and prepare yourselves because you're about to see Vivek Ramaswamy absolutely school a CNN host on voter ID and voter integrity. Guys, it's just insane. These arguments the left makes about being against voter ID and all the other stuff regarding the whole election integrity matters. It is crazy. They, I don't even know how they get these ideas from. Voter ID is racist. It's oppressive. Are you kidding me? So we're gonna get right into it, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna like it. But first, everybody, do me a big favor here. Like our video, share it around. And if you are new, yes, so subscribe to the Resistance Mainstream YouTube channel so we keep bringing you guys this great hard-hitting content. As always, everybody, I'm your host, Darian. Let's get into the show. I included yours. You were there. You you said this. Uh, this was part of your message last night, and I want to discuss it with you. What does it mean to be American? It means we have elections we can trust and believe in, and that means single-day voting on election day as a national holiday with paper ballots and government-issued ID to match the voter file. That's how we save the country after we win it this time by voting early. So voting early is okay to use to win for your guy, but then you want to get rid of it? I think you got to play by the rules you have in order to change them to what they should be. Just like people should pay taxes as required by the tax code who may otherwise favor changing the tax code. The same applies to the way we conduct elections. And if I may for a second, you brought up Puerto Rico before. I actually love Puerto Rico. I've spent a lot of time there. One of the things I've done in my studies of the island, meeting with leaders there, is understand how they conduct elections in Puerto Rico. And I think we have a lot to learn from them where they do have single voting, on, single day voting on election day as a holiday for the island. They use paper ballots and other election security measures that we don't use in the United States. So for our part, speaking to Puerto Ricans, what I want to say is we have a lot to learn from Puerto Rico, including the way they run elections. But yes, we have to win this election in order to get there. And so play by the rules we have legally to the fullest extent allowed. And then, yes, I think it could be civic and unifying in civic unity for the country to say there's one day we take apart from our daily drudgery of our day to say we're doing our duty to our country and more united as a consequence. But that's not happening this election. We need to win this election. And that's why I do think it is not only OK, I would encourage people this election so we can win to vote early to change the rules to what they should be. Even on national holidays, some people will still work. Uh, we see them working. Sure. Uh, we see them. Uh, if you're so concerned for that, of course, if you're we have so exceptions for people who are working like like emergency workers or otherwise. But the if, basic if, premise, as Puerto Rico does it. If, if you're so concerned it, about Ohio Vivek, Ohio. if you're so concerned about paper trails, are you aware who has the biggest lack of them? I don't I don't follow the premise of the question, Brianna, I have to confess. If you're so worried about paper trails. Yes. Like, are you is this just is this like an issue that you're talking about or are you aware so that Look, it's a few counties I, I, I in believe. Texas and it's all of Louisiana? I mean, are you are you talking to those folks? Have you talked to the leadership so, of, in those localities, those states where there is no paper trail at all? let alone paper ballots and said, hey guys, may maybe fix so this. So look, here's something you- So I think this lady has a comprehension issue because there's a very obvious answer to this disingenuous, stupid gotcha question that she's attempting here. Vivek clearly said that nationwide, we need paper ballots and one day voting. So that includes every state, every city, every county, doesn't matter if they're blue, doesn't matter if they're red, doesn't matter if they're purple or green or yellow or whatever color you wanna to assign to it politically. They are gonna have to use paper ballots. So that's the only answer that's needed right here. You and I can, I think, agree on. I think you and I would agree on this. The crisis of public trust in our elections is a real problem. And if we can shore up that trust in a way that says we're done, nobody wants to be complaining. Certainly I don't want to be complaining or anyone on my side to be complaining about stolen elections or election integrity. The easiest way to move it forward is to do it the way that Puerto Rico does it today. And I think that many countries do it this way. We've done it this way in the past with respect to paper ballots in our country. I don't think government issued ID should be controversial. But you but know, most people have people, paper if ballots. I may finish, if I may finish, Brianna, the fact that many people find government issued ID requirements to be controversial is actually what breeds that mistrust about election integrity in the uh, first place. Okay, the I, fact I do that just want to be IDs clear. Are themselves that controversial? Most reveals people a real have. Issue. Most people, there there is a paper ballot. And there is a paper trail that the process by which they're doing it generates a paper ballot, a paper trail to show how they have voted. So this idea that like a bunch of people are, are voting and it just kind of goes off into the ether, that doesn't happen. We're talking about Brianna, the, 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 the vast majority. Say that. I, I didn't, didn't interrupt you, that. sir. 
the vast yeah. majority of people. So it, it's sort of, I'm just curious because it seems like also to the point of the ID, this idea of like non-citizen voting, it's already illegal for non-citizens to vote in federal elections with threat of prosecution and deportation as a deterrent, which may be why it just doesn't happen in any meaningful number, including in your home state. Uh, I just wonder in, in both of these cases, are you promoting a solution to yeah. solve problems that don't exist? I'm promoting a solution to address a problem that does exist, which is the loss of public confidence in elections against the backdrop of voter fraud that is real. Well, Nobody's why do you think the there's existence. a loss in confidence? Nobody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you just said you weren't interrupting me, and then you're interrupting me, Brianna. Well, if now I, may I am. Finish answering yeah, I am. The question, because if we're I may running out of time. Question, if I, why I'm do you think the there's a loss in confidence? I think that... I think there's a loss in confidence because there are unknown numbers of illegal migrants in this country. And I think there's a big loss of confidence because people object to the idea of using voter IDs, the same IDs you're required to drive a car. Why is it an objectionable to use that to actually be a requirement to vote? The fact that people call that racist to shut down debate. Yes, I do think that breeds public mistrust. I do. So here's what I'm I going want. to interrupt I do not, I you be because my view. best, best my view is practices. I don't want complaints about election integrity. I don't want us fighting over stolen include elections. include cross-referencing and I think we can votes. With what was that famous quote that Donald Trump, our favorite orange president, once said? Such a nasty woman. I I'm bringing that up for no reason, by the way. It has nothing to do with this video. I, I promise it doesn't relate. OK, OK, D don't go after me. No, <laughs> but in all seriousness, this lady is such a liar and something I wish Vivek called her out on. She sits here and says this idea that non-citizens are voting. It's just fake. It doesn't matter. It's not true. It's actually completely wrong. There are court documents to prove this, all right? In the 2020 election, there were thousands, yes, thousands of non-citizens who both registered and voted in the state of Nevada. That state was one in the margin of thousands, okay? Maybe like a little over 10,000, something like that. Don't quote me on that, but the point is we had thousands of non-citizens vote in an election that was decided by thousands of votes different. And she's gonna sit here and have the gall to say, well, you know, this is all made up. You're a bunch of crazies. All while people like her oppose having requiring a government ID to vote. And yeah, they totally have no sinister motives at hand when they don't even want a voter ID to prove you're a citizen to vote. And then you have non-citizens voting in elections. It is just disgusting what these people do. And they ought to be ashamed of themselves. With the DMV, and social security to make sure that that doesn't happen i do just want to be clear you're talking about sure. this idea of like all of these imaginary illegal immigrants who are voting it's just not true texas there was this point where they had thousands of people they identified as non-citizens turned out they had become citizens they actually had to settle because of what they did there georgia the republican secretary of state they identified 20 non-citizens who, who had registered to vote out of 8.2 million examples. nine yeah. of them had voted all of them were sent to law enforcement and in ohio your state out of 8 million people law enforcement is reviewing 138 Brianna. people who cast a ballot for possibly that hasn't even been confirmed i get what you're saying but these numbers I, I, I the are not meaningful from. i've heard these cases. How about Nevada? You notice how she conveniently doesn't mention Nevada? Such a disingenuous hack. You spend a lot we, of we, time talking me, about a problem that is so minuscule, I, I, it doesn't affect I actually, outcomes. I actually don't. The challenge I would give you and to anybody who shares your view is explain why voter ID laws are controversial. Why is it racist to have a voter ID law? And the fact that people are using racist allegations against the simple premise of having a driver's license to vote is what is breeding public mistrust in our elections. And I'll make a pledge to everybody in this country, Republican or Democrat, if we get to voter ID laws that match the voter file and have single day voting on election day as a national holiday, I'm done and anybody else in the Republican Party should be done as well, and the Democratic Party too, in complaining about election integrity do it the way Puerto Rico does it. And if they do it in Puerto Rico, we can do it in the rest of the United States and turn this page so that we're not talking about this issue. But the fact that voter ID laws are themselves controversial with the left reveals that there is a real issue here that if a voter ID law is deemed racist and you're not even allowed to talk about advocating for that without undergoing this kind of grilling, that reveals a real issue and loss of public trust that I do believe we need to fix to unite this country. That's my hope. And I do think a solid victory which we are not debating on November 6th for either candidate, I hope it's Donald Trump, is something that will unite this country, and that's what I'm rooting for. Well, I think it's because the consequence that I certainly hope from your perspective is inadvertent, is that it discourages some people who have the right to vote from voting in numbers that far eclipse what you're talking about solving with this non-existent problem.
Uh, but I respectfully Vivek disagree Ramaswamy. with that. Just as it. Seriously, what a load of bullshit. Honestly, I know that's crass language, but I think it's totally warranted here. I am sick and tired of this argument against government IDs. Let's think about this for a second. Her claim is that if somebody doesn't have a government ID, they're not going to be able to vote and that there are citizens who presumably don't have government IDs. That's a lie. All right. You need an ID to drive a car. You need an ID to get a hotel. You need an ID to get a job. You need an ID to collect welfare. Do we just have, what, millions, thousands, hundreds of thousands, whatever the number is, of American citizens who never drive a car, they don't work jobs, they don't take welfare. You know, apparently they're just out there living in the hyperspace or something in like Narnia. I don't, I don't even know. It's just, it's totally nonsensical. She is a liar and I wish Vivek would call her out on this, this kind of dishonesty. You're talking about solving with this non-existent problem. Uh, but I respectfully Vivek disagree Ramaswamy. with that, just as it doesn't deter them from driving. But I think that that's a reasonable discussion for us to have in good faith rather than dismissing voter ID laws as racist. At least that's a constructive step in the debate. I, I don't know. I didn't I didn't say it was racist. So I Others understand maybe though, you're having yeah. a conversation with someone else uh, about this, but it's not me. Um, in Vivek, Georgia, countless leftists have. Yeah. Vivek Ramaswamy. Thank you for being with us. I'll raise you one, Vivek. I actually disrespectfully disagree with what she's saying. I don't think she's being honest. I think her motives are very sinister and it's actually not a reasonable discussion. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Are they, do they actually believe this? Is it a heartfelt belief or are they just being dishonest? I wanna hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you thought about the video overall, what kind of stuff you wanna see in the future. And we'll see you guys again soon. Thank you and God bless.